outside yesterday, like this morning. Good peeps. Good peeps. How are you today? It's your favorite couple, David and Sharon Lucas. And we're just back again. Tonight's subject is uh, sex versus affection. I love sex. I love the, I, I feel like the whole point of sex is to be busting nuts. So I ain't gonna be just having sex not to be busting nuts. I'm trying to bust everywhere. And then yes, I started off with that. So uh, <laughs> we, we actually wanna come uh, letting you know our purpose uh, is to encourage people to, uh, and inspire them of course, to get and stay married or uh, to, uh, yeah, exactly. And kind of dispelling any fears that you have of getting married and we also trying to trying to um, you know going to uh, discuss a few things. But well, tonight it's about sex versus affection. Girls always want affection. Oh, so Saran, yes. what, what, let me show you where we got this idea from. This this guy, his name is W. F. Harley. He has a. <laughs> I love to do the sex myself as well, Mr. J. Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> but he, his name is W. F. Harley. It's good to see you, Jamie. W. F. Harley, he has a video study, uh, and he also on YouTube, and he also has a book called His Need Versus Her Needs, and he's a clinical psychologist. So, you know, as we researching for ourselves, uh, for subject matter, we actually been getting, you know, I mean, tremendously like helped ourselves, yeah, like. Of course. So, um, what is affection to you? But this is his idea, though. This is one of the chapters in the book. Well, let me start off by saying affection for each person is a little different. But for me, affection is um, to listen to me. Okay. When I, I have a concern, I have a problem, I want your uninvited attention. attention. Okay. I want you to be able to repeat back to me what my concern is. Okay. And um, be able to, you know, console me. So I got to repeat the concern back to you? Yes. So, okay. so in the, That's it, just to make sure that you're actually listen to me didn't actively know listening know. so right. you you're so dang i wish i was actively listening just now just let me try to help so you said it's spending time with you right no. i didn't get there yet oh okay okay oh, sorry go, so we're talking about this, what the affection is yes spending time with me is one though okay spending time with me i like to cuddle i'm a cuddler yeah yeah you are i like to cuddle and i love massages as you guys probably have already known yes. from our previous videos. Yes. Um, and then um, I think that's it. That's it for me. So that's her all definition I need. of affection <laughs> is for for me to spend time with you, for me to be cuddling with you, and dang, what was the first one? That was the most right and most important thing. Mm -hmm. See? Get your active See? listening skills together. That's what See? I need you to do. I, I was reading. I was reading. <laughs> so what was it again, though? Listening, I'm so sorry. Listening. Cuddling. Listening. <laughs> you know right. how that one dealt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cuddling. Spending time with me. Yeah. And great old massages. See, most girls love affection. You feel me? <laughs> and I, I, I just love an erection. Like I, I don't see the point of it. Like I understand listening because if I have a concern, I do want you to listen to me. Right. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't. I don't. I feel like that's enough. Like. Take your clothes off. So right. this is constant war going on between the two of us. And that war, of course, the baby's up. She doesn't have no sense at the time. Bill. So you got to see the chip. To get her on, go on, get. Here, Bill. Here, now, go on, get now. But anyway, so you have to have this constant, like, uh, affection. Uh, or a constant, there's a constant battle going on between what I want to do. And since I'm the man, we're going to end up doing that, you know. But I don't know if you ever had sex before with somebody, watch, who doesn't want to have sex. It feel like you're raping them. You know what I mean? And I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. You know what I mean? But it ain't, it ain't, it don't be the best. Like, I want you to be involved. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to be involved. I want you to. So, I mean, eventually you know by I mean? doing that, Grab eventually balls, like. the sex becomes born because it does. she has her needs and her concerns, right. which we've learned is totally the opposite of male's concerns. Your, what you just said was completely the opposite of anything I ever expected. Everything I go through throughout my entire day can be fixed with some duder. And duder is a colloquialistic statement for pussy. I, it can all be fixed. That's our code that we use in the house because we have kids. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, develop a code that. if you have kids that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you two know about. <laughs> yes. He said, Jamie said, I've done that, but it's, it's not satisfying. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I think you talk about uh, uh, the, when well, they don't want to have other people don't want to do sex. it. Yeah, we don't want to do it. See, now I've been married so long. <laughs> now, if you don't want me stepping out on you, then you need to, uh, you know, we gonna get some coconut oil or something because. I'm about to bang this out. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm about to bang this out. Like, but it, 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 it's like doing it to a dead horse. You know what I mean? And it's, I'm, I be feeling like, mm, this ain't even cool. Like, I, so now I, got, to, now I got to feed her. You have to, yes, you have to meet the other party's needs. Right. It goes both ways. Right. So if you want me to meet your need, you have to beat my need. So right. he doesn't like to do the massages, but you have to do the massages for a couple of minutes. You know? I hate it. <laughs> Well, I don't hate it. It's just like, you ain't busting no nut off this. What is the point of this? Like, Sharon, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it tastefully. Sharon can have sex without climaxing and be like, oh, that was good. That was one of the best. How, sweet? <laughs> How? Because like, it's other things. Like, for women, it's an it. emotional connection. You know, it's an emotional connection that you it. have. And you don't necessarily have to have an I orgasm. Yeah. You don't necessarily necessarily have to have an orgasm. So that be on. You don't. So you can Ooh, be pleased by the Ooh, the love that your spouse shows you. Right. So if you're kind to me, you're gentle, loving. We like that kind of experience. Like you know. I'm with that too. We like to feel like you know we're in a Walt Disney. <laughs> we want to feel like we're in a Walt Disney movie. <laughs> I'm with that sometimes. I, I swear. The romance. I'm, I'm like legit with that because there are some times where, you know, you need to be romanced. Or even as, as a man, like I feel like there are times where I, I guess I need my emotions met, you know what I mean, for lack of a better term. Like I do. Like, But for the most part, I, I be wanting to just flip it, turn it, smack it, grab it. I don't, you know what I mean? He said, right, uh, it's more emotional for women uh, and more physical for men. That's Right. This nigga's my, my friend. How you doing? <laughs> Marcus, what's up, big bro? He said, I like what y'all doing, bro. I like what you're doing too, man. You don't even be knowing. I be watching you. I do time. I'm proud of you, man, for real. And thank you. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you. So tonight's uh, episode, we're talking about uh, sex versus uh, affection and, uh, and, and this constant battle that men and women have to to um, kind of kind of like meet have a middle ground you know my, my wife's definition of affection is if you listen to her and her definition of affection is if you need to spend time with her and if you be able to repeat back what she said if you and if you if watch the beginning of this video you'll really start to understand that i don't always be getting it right like as a matter of fact that's why we came on here because <laughs> we want you to know like all right legit like this is what a real marriage is the reason why we started these videos is because one of our very close uh, or, or, or just our perceptually close uh couple friends was really like they they ended up getting a divorce right and so when we found out about it we was like oh my god how 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 wait <laughs> and so it just propelled us like we got to start doing some work got to start showing people what the real is in marriage because I always tell people, you know, evil is absolutely no match for good, but good has to be active. No match. Just like if you if you look at some weeds, I, I do lawn, so the analogy will, you know, be uh, apropos. I didn't know what she was talking. I thought she was going somewhere else. No, no, this. no. I do lawn. <laughs> like, where did that go? So if you if you if you see some weeds in somebody's yard, you feel me? They can grow. As I mean, I've seen weeds turn into fields, and this is like the highest corn. But if you get to work on them, how far can you take them back? As far as you want to, Jim Rohn quote. Be because that's no match for good, but you still got to be, uh, uh, thank you, Marcus. You still got to be active. You got to be active. You got to be active. You got to be active. That's the only way. That's the only way for you to get this work done. Because uh, evil is no match for good. So I was like, all right, if that's true, then let me go ahead and start getting my work in. And when we found out that they got a divorce, we was like, oh, man. So we're going to do our work. And we have been getting great feedback. And we got a surprise for y'all coming up pretty soon. We're going to start a uh, forum. So we do family. t Tucky here, no, got it. <laughs> so we're going to start doing a forum where uh, 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 we're going to try to get a forum together. And we do want some couples of all hues. You know what I mean? He said, I'm with wifey. I have no idea where you're going with this. <laughs> I see what you said. 
But uh, uh, we're going to try to get some couples together and have a, a, a open dialogue. You don't have to be, you don't have to think like me or nothing like, but if we, if we ask you, we, first of all, we, we want you to come through, you feel me? But then secondly, we want you to keep it real. If you know your relationship ain't strong, tell me that. Because we're going to be keeping it open and candid and honest. And we don't want this to turn into no Jerry Springer show or nothing like that. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that's not what we want to happen. Like, <laughs> All right. Yep. So today's episode is about, uh, you know, sex, sex and affection versus affection, not yes. and affection versus affection. My man Jamie alluded to it earlier. He said that sex for men is more physical and for women it's more emotional. And that, I mean, that hit the nail. Now, on the head right there. I am curious if there's any women out there or men where it is reversed, where the man is more affectionate and the woman just wants sex. Like, she don't care about none of that. I, I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm 100% those, those relationships exist. They're called homosexual relationships. Because I'm messing with you. Because I'm pretty sure it's possible. But it's probably such a outlier that that's crazy. So you mean to tell me that my woman wants sex and I want affection? It's some woman It's going to be the countdown to when she's going to be letting somebody else pound it. <laughs> All the way out. Like, Wait, I thought that was your dream. What you mean? <laughs> For the woman that wants sex. I mean, if she wanted like me, you feel me? If she want only me and she wanted like me, yeah, that's possible. That is my dream, but I'm not gonna trade my sexual desire in for for somebody to listen to me, huh? <laughs> No, man, no, no. I feel like I'm not about to do that. You feel me? So today's episode, or, or, or let me tell you, I, I always got to reiterate the purpose every couple minutes. So it's to encourage and inspire people to, to get married and to stay married. You know, I know some people that have been engaged for hundreds of thousands of years, it seems like. And they have children and all that. And it seems like they'll, they'll never be married. So a lot of that deals with... It's the man. You feel me? Because <laughs> girls be feeling like, we sign me up for that booty. We got booty. a book. We got a book with our marriage arrangements and plans. But, like, but, we get the marriage together in like two weeks. We're but ready. But the man be feeling like, I don't want to give up all this buzzy that I think I can possibly get. Like, you know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, they be laying it low and spreading it wide. My man Jamie said, it depends on the mode and the situation. And I'm assuming mood and situation. And person, because I've been in both situations where it was physical uh, and it was emotional. Well, why, why, why? Thank you for opening up there. I didn't expect Jamie to open up like that. It's something. <laughs> he opened up. Thanks, Jada. Yes. It, thank do, you. it do depend. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had, like, I, I don't need candles. And if you got a whip, if you got some whip pussy, I'm, I'm near. Like, I'm near. Like, for the, for, 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 for the most part, unless I'm just not physically attracted to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> or 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 it's a situation where I ain't shouldn't be doing this. You right. know what I mean? Right. But if you if you I'm there, like I'm near there. Like I'm so super there. Like but I understand what you're saying. Like sometimes, you know, if I had a rough day, you know what I mean, there's been times where I got fired, you know what I mean? I see J Dub. <laughs> I got <laughs> but there's been times where I got fired and I just needed a hug. Like I've been fired from for more jobs than you think. <laughs> you know I mean? And why? Because I, I just hate somebody telling me what time to go to lunch. That type. You know what I mean? I've just never been that guy. So Sharon has had to deal with that and be faithful when there are men out here who, you know, I'm not sure if they would take care of her like me in the, in the bed. I'm a, No, I'm sorry. I'm 100% sure you ain't doing that. You know what I mean? But as far as like, she probably could have chose more money if she wanted. Or she could she had other opportunities with men and she chose me and you know I come with some baggage. I had a child before I got married. You feel me? And it wasn't with her, you know what I mean? And not only that, but I didn't have a job, I didn't have a license when we got married. And she put up with that. See and, and the reason I said that, and I don't wanna, you know, overtop my boo-boo, but because you know, especially if you me, I, I became a church boy, like and, and as a result, you know, I was I was indoctrinated with things, with principles that are, you know, what, how life should be. You feel me? And it ain't always like that. You feel, or how life ought to be. But my current is, I, if I meet a girl, I might got to take you to Mickey D's. Like, and that's cool because my heart is pure gold. And what is a job? A job is somebody telling you yes, number one. Or a job is, you know, your ingenuity, your creativity, you going to get that. You know what I mean? And, and, and really just getting up on the idea. Like, if I fail, I fail, so what? 
I'm going to try as hard as I can. That's all a job is. It's just a money opportunity. So, you know, being fired from a job isn't the end of the world. That's how I'm glad she views it like that. And I view it like that, too. Because being, no, nah, no. Nah, as long as you get back up. You got to get. Be, don't be on the couch playing Xbox. I was just getting ready to say <laughs> that. Oh, baby, I was just getting ready to say that. <laughs> now, come on. Eating bologna sandwiches. Nah, that's not okay. <laughs> Cat not with that. Cat not with that. Like, if you, if you, if you, if you do, you know, lose your income. You know, especially where I'm at right now, you know, getting a job is really not that difficult. You know what I mean? They don't even be doing drug tests where I'm at. Like, you can get a job just on some, we just need you. Like, I'm talking about good job. Got benefits, all that. Like, mm -hmm. so you got to just be careful and, and like, constantly aware uh, of, of, of your struggle. Like, and, and be like, all right. Like, but I, like I said, I'm the type of guy where, I mean, I have a, I have a very corporate job right now. And if you know me, you know I I not, I'm not that guy. Like I'm talking about very corporate to where you got to watch what you say. Like and if you know me, I'm not that guy. You know what I mean? So because I got that job, you know what I mean? I be like acquiescing to taking care of my 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 crib and my family. So I'm not a I'm not a kid either. I'm not a fool. So what we I'm learned in the study was that men and women tend to think a little different. Yes. So in the study majority of the men was like sex and all the women was like <laughs> you know they want affection in the study 85 percent of men uh, were, were i guess the question was uh you know how often do you think about sex and 85 percent of men say you know i can be somewhere for up to 20 minutes and after you know the 21st minute is sex and then 15 percent of the other men was like uh, or I, I, and only 15 percent rather uh were women who who thought about sex i feel like House, wait. I don't think about, don't think sex. about sex. Huh? No, we got so many things on your mind. You know, what? I gotta pick up the kids, get the kids ready for bed, go over their homework. What? You know, clean, cook, what? grocery shop. It's like so many other things on your mind. Grocery you shopping don't... is more important than busting this. You don't house, think about what? sex. Only time, well, I can speak for me, that you really think about sex is if you see like a handsome dude or somebody come through. That you may be sexually attracted to. Hi, Monessa. Just to think of it by yourself. Monessa says, awkward. romance is what women want. Sex is a given with that. Oh. Oh. oh Very okay. interesting uh, proposition. You feel me? Because she, so, her, so I think romance and affection kind of can be used interchangeably. Yes, I and agree. And so your definition of romance is, you know, is what you need to be catered to. So my wife's definition of affection slash romance is for somebody who, who talking to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to get you to do your next, Tony. Somebody who's constantly talking to her or listening to her and, and, and can repeat it back and spending time with her. And she, and, and she feel like he wanted to say it comes along with the territory. Carl says, who needs groceries over sex? He said, I'll eat cereal. <laughs> I'm here he is. Captain Crunch, all berries, family. Oh, for real. Like, family, I'm in here eating Captain Crunch, all berries. Like, I'm about to, we about to get this Not in. Not David. Not uh, David. He's like, where is the dinner? He's like, like today. Over like, sex? Yeah. The first thing he asks. Over he sex? In, he calls before he even get off of work. Like, did you cook? Yes. <laughs> That's his first thing. He don't talk about sex. Then he come in and say, have my plate on the dinner table. Yeah. And, and put enough on there for seconds because I don't want to go back. <laughs> But when we about to get it in, do I be like, let me grab this, let me grab this cereal first, and then I'll be, nah. If I had some cereal there, he would probably be ready to divorce me. For real. He'll be like, he likes like Southern, I cook like full no. scratch meals for him. Like today I made a pot roast. We, we made a comment earlier. And he likes full. About sex over affection. And I was like, you know, you said that you would take groceries. Uh, you got 10 things, 10, 10 things, yes. 10 million things on your I mind. I understand the question. And groceries, and he just made a comment, like, who who does that, right? And so he said, unlimited sex and TV dinners. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm a real man's man. Like, and when I say that, I mean, I never had a homosexual thought in my life. Like, you <laughs> know what I mean? So, uh, uh, and that's nothing against, if you do, that's you, man. Hopefully you listen too, because, you know, y'all like to pay for books and stuff, and hopefully we're going to come out with one pretty soon, but... <laughs> But that's not the only reason. But I, I have no problem if you if that's your hue. You feel me? But you don't, you shouldn't have no problem with my hue neither. And I'm a man's man. Like I am a man's man. This is what I do. Like 
So uh, the, the, I always try to tell people the purpose of these videos is to just encourage and to inspire people to get and stay married. Like the reason we started these joints, I'm, I'm not going. I'm going to say this until you can repeat it. Is because we had a, uh, a, a a couple of friends who got divorced, and it just hit us like a brick wall. We was like, Oh my God, how was we going to survive this? Like, you know what I mean? So at, at the end of the day, we just feel like you know uh, um, we had to start doing our work because. We just had to start doing our work for real. So we, you know, in preparation of this video, we found a man, his name was W.F. Harley. He has a video study. Uh, cool dude, very intellectual. He's a cl clinical psychologist, and but he does bring it down on everybody level, so you know what I mean? But that's how you, like, that's how you, like, even, like, us making these videos is really helping us. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm going to tell the story today because I, I always, you know, give my, my, my what I think helps me and maybe it'll help you but i go any, anywhere i'm at i got a pair of headphones on because uh, i think that no matter you know w what i do i need to kind of you know cover myself so i don't find myself in a, in a conversation or a situation that can lead to sex so i was in the gym today and i swear this girl was following me around i might be tripping but i swear she was following me around let me let me get on this she said uh do, 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 do. it's thinking of what i would like oh this is a definition of romance uh Date me, ask me about my day, call me at work. I'm a very sexual person. When I'm romance, I think about sex 80% of the day. Well, you are in the 15% down. <laughs> but yeah, we honor your definition. And in a study, that right. was one of the things um, for affection is calling. Right. Um, and I like that too. It was. I think that's like good. Calling throughout the day yes. and stuff like that. I thought that was good. Go ahead, babe. Um, so yeah. Ah, that's, your um, definition. Not gone. Yeah. <laughs> this chick got. You gonna finish your story? Oh yeah. So I feel like the young lady was following me around. I was like, oh man, man, I'm tripping. You know what I mean? And this, she wasn't, she wasn't bad at all. Like you know, your little yoga pants and all that. So I got my headphones. On, I'm just doing jump rope. And I, if you never see me jump rope, you will be like, how are you still fat? Like this is <laughs> remarkable. You know, this guy jump rope is like. Like a real, like, it's, 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 it's wonderful. Anyway, so, okay, so I moved my section four times. And every time I look up and this baby around, like, right? But it wasn't like a, mm, 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 it wasn't like a scary movie. It was just like, <laughs> it was almost like she was waiting to talk to me, right? So I'm like, hmm. So, I, and, and everywhere I went, she wasn't working out. So I'm like, this babe is following Awkward. me. I'm like, this babe is following me. Like, because she wasn't working out. She was just on her phone, on IG. Like, it, it looked like she was waiting to talk to me. I was like, I got away from her four times. And every time I looked up, she was, she was on like, a mach the machine next to me. But she wasn't working out. She just on her phone. Like, and she was looking over. Like, I'm like, man, I had to keep these headphones these on. These girls are thirsty like, this, there's a water fountain right over if you right. whoa like what long story short i didn't i didn't talk to her or nothing i didn't you know and then she didn't like bother me like hey you know what i mean she but she looked like she was just waiting for her in i'm like when i was single this type of stuff would never happen to me like but now that i'm married it's happened to me all the time like and then i i, I bought so i had to speed back so i didn't have my ring on so I'm like, dang, and I didn't want to like, and then my ring was, uh, it was at the crib, because I, you know, I gave it to, did I give it to you today, or I, I put it on the counter? Anyway, it was at the crib, because like I said, when you box and hit the heavy bag, you can't have a ring on, like, that ain't no excuse, that's legit. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it on, so I'm like, this girl doesn't know that I'm married, like, but I know, I know that I'm married, and so because I know that I'm married, I just got away from her, like, that was the easiest thing to do, and you know, it took five times. You know, I ended up going to the men's locker room like this. Man, like, maybe she just liked my energy or something. Like, or maybe this is just a total coincidence. And to me, it would have been a coincidence if she was working out. <laughs> but this babe was wasn't working out. I'm okay. like, oh man. So, but the purpose or tonight's episode is about sex versus affection. Uh, really, it's men versus women. That's a, a way to uh, no, you can also say it. No, because we have some women who like to think about sex. They think about sex throughout the day. When this is that she think about her 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 sex, she she said I think about sex eighty percent of my day. Yeah, so it's not a man versus woman thing. Right. So it, that's it, nice that we could clear that up because 
Right. There, there are some women who love sex, mm-hmm. who love it. You know what I mean? And I wish I was married to one of those women. No, no, no. <laughs> now, I don't know if M- Monissa is married or not. She is. She's married to Smitty. Okay, good. Because yep, yep. I don't know, but after I got married, I stopped thinking about those kind of things. Stop thinking about not, sex? That's not what good. What are you talking about? That's not good, but just the everything that's going on in your life, having kids, and it kind of, you know, that's just something you right. don't really think about as much. But, but when I was single, I thought about it more often. Cause it's, it's almost like when you got a little bit of food and you know when you you don't know where your next meal is coming from there's like a I need to eat 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 so I understand the mentality but I mean, you know when your next when your next dick meeting is, is you feel like I, I it's there I know he ain't I know he ain't going nowhere so uh, you know what I mean so that's how it is like I understand the mentality you know what I mean now but one of the me, good things I that to, um, I need to bang this out every day like every day good- take your drawers off now One of the good things that they've talked about in the study for people who do have children, because it is a big difference when you have children versus when you don't have children. It is. You have a lot more time to get it in. You You know, when you have children, you tiptoeing around. You sneak it around. I do agree. You still in your parents' house or something. And then my daughter is spoiled. (laughs) So it makes it a lot harder. So what he suggests was getting um, either some type of a care, some daycare or... Schedule. Or a schedule. Where you have just time for you and your spouse. I feel like that was phony, though. Because there has it, to be a level of spontaneity, like, you got, you know what I mean? Of it, till your kids get a little older, that's going to have to, you know, right. take the back seat for I've a I've had bit. blue balls. I, as a matter of fact, <laughs> we was getting it in this morning. My daughter, I mean, I was mid-stroke, and she literally woke up like, eh! Did she stand like, up? What? She stands up in the crib and be like, "Hey, like, hey, hey, like, hey. If you, don't, you don't hurry up." It I goes from at her cry like, to, "Hey, <laughs> I'm in here trying to make your brother. Could you stop hating on us, please?" <laughs> so, <laughs> for real, like, so yeah, um, it makes it a lot harder. It takes the mood out. <laughs> it does. <do>. So, <laughs> my, my joint said, <laughs> "Quick, like I couldn't." So even, like, I mean, some of them recommendations, I'm definitely going to try. Right, you know. So, um, that was, so, um, and also taking vacations without your kids. That's, yes. That's nice. Yes. Even if it's just to a whole nice hotel for the weekend or something like, yes. for a day, if you can't find a sitter for that. What moment. hotel did we, we went to with the hotel in Columbus and the food. Oh, I can't even remember the name. I place. wish I knew that name or we'll that place. We'll put the link below. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to find it for y'all. But the food was banging. It was oh, so my, good. You know I'm in love with food. Yeah. If you guys watch any um, post before we talked <laughs> about food, food this morning. Man, we right. ate there twice in one day, which is bad. Don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> we did. I told you I got back. And it was like thirty dollars a plate <laughs> yeah. both times. Like, but it was. It good. was so good. It was good. But yeah, it was. We'll put and it was below. worth it now. Like you look back on it, like. And the hotel was actually a nice hotel. Like that would be somewhere where you could go to get right. a romantic getaway. Um, we live in Columbus. It was nice. But we will put the link below. We are going to be asking some couples to join us for a forum, almost like a date night. I'm going to call it a forum because it's not business, cause it, you know, but it will be like a, a date night, you know what I mean? And we'll, we'll, ha- we'll have conversation uh, about this so people can get intrigued and enthralled about marriage. You know what I mean? My man, uh, uh, what's his name? He said uh, that, you know, he, he's in his late 20s. He's never been to a wedding. That's my dude, man. Dang, I can't think of his name. Matrimony. His song is Matrimony, though. Y'all know his name, shout him out. But he said, y'all been my late 20s and never been to a wedding. So we, we, I, I be listening to his song like, dang, like I feel like he told the truth just now. Uh, so we want to kind of get, especially us, man. Now, anybody need to get married. When I say us, I mean our demographic, our, our age, our culture, you feel me? And, and our, our hue, you know what I mean? Our actual, you know, color. Because we, us, us, us. Us is, y'all know what I'm talking about. We be engaged for a hundred million years and will not get married. Because right. we feel like, and for a man, I understand that's a fear that I had. But the fear that I had was, you know, that I'm, there's going to be some pussy that I'm going to come across and I ain't going to be able to take it because I'm going to be married. Like, and I feel like I was holding out for that, that Holly Berry, Michelle Obama, that, you know, I was holding out for that. But, that ain't probably going to come through. Like, you know what I mean? It just probably ain't. So you got to learn to appreciate where you 
are, not where you want to be. You, you want to be to a place that we ain't going to kill that in you, but appreciate your current journey, like. Right. And if somebody looking out for you, like, you know what I mean? When I say looking out, I mean curving dudes, heat curving babes, you know what I mean? If that's you, if you the girl don't want to get married, but you with him, you know what I mean? If he curving babes and you feel like, nah, like, I don't want to get married. Or if she curving dudes and you feel like, I still ain't marrying her. You, you got to start rethinking where you are. Like, right. you know what I mean? A lot of us be in a fantasy. We have fantasies about marriage. I, mean, I always tell the story that when I first got married, I legitimately thought that I would not be attracted to, to other women anymore. Like, it was, it was a, such a legitimate thought that I didn't even, um, I didn't even... You know, ask about it in our counseling session because I just felt like, oh, okay, once I get married, I'm not going to be attracted to the other woman. That's a total lie. Special guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a total lie. I was completely, I am, even now, completely attracted to, to other women. Com completely attracted. The young lady that was following me around today, she was cute. Like, she wasn't bad like the girl <laughs> the other day. You know what I mean? But I think about women all the time. Like, so I take precautions. Because, I'm, you know what I mean? I take precautions. And when I found out that I was going to still be attracted to other girls, I was like, wait a minute. Like, what you thought was going to happen? Some fairy dust was going to come down? That's what I'm saying. The, the, <laughs> the fantasies that I had about marriage. Like, I had a... And it was wrong. But it was a fantasy that I had. And it was wrong. Like, so we're going to be addressing those pre preconceived notions. And we're getting ready to get out of here. We don't want these videos to be too long because we're trying to put them on YouTube as well. And they have a time restriction. But the purpose of this is for us to encourage, inspire people uh, to get and stay married uh, and, and kind of address any fears and have an open dialogue. If you right. leave a comment, I'm going to read it out. You Please know? leave comments. We, we love that. And any topics or issues that you have mm -hmm. that you want us to discuss, Please leave that we below. Certainly we certainly will. Subscribe to our um, page, to our YouTube page, our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. also have a blog um, that I write about um, health topics for families, mm -hmm. family stuff in general, if you have children, that kind of stuff. Um, that's www.sharonlucas.com. We also want you to subscribe so that we can send you things that we're going to be doing in the and future. And that's free. It's free stuff. Yeah. No. We know, Information. We, yeah. We're not going to harass too. you or nothing. It's going to be related to mm -hmm. what we're talking about. We send videos. Um, so, yeah. So, do that. Um, we have a couple of events that we're going to be doing in the future. We want to be able to invite you to. Yes. Um, we will have a date night for the couples. Yep. And then we also um, want to start a sex line in the future. So we definitely mm. want to let you know. We definitely want to let you know about that. So, so a couple of things that will help you out in the bedroom. Right. And uh, tonight's, tonight's uh, I guess, you know, uh, study came from W.F. Harley. You can just go, uh, YouTube his name. I'll have the link below. Yeah, she'll put the link below. Uh, it will be on YouTube. It's a study. If you, if you are about to get married or are married... Check him out. You feel me? Because he was very intellectual and, and, and had some things that we felt like was, was actually pretty, pretty good examples. But until next time, we do love you. Peace.